today we're about to have a ton of fun diving into the insane free agents on FC24 with the club of Birmingham City because Rooney cannot save the club as it seems. He has been appointed as the new manager and as we can tell, things have not been looking too great for the club. So I'm here to rebuild it and I'm going to be doing it with the best free agents I can find. Now, best doesn't specifically mean I'm going to be going after the highest rated ones. All I want to see is players with insane play styles because that is something that is happening on FC24. Regens and free agents, they have some crazy play styles on them. So let's get started. Birmingham City, here we go. So just for confirmation, again, they have lost the last three games, Middlesbrough and Hull and also Southampton, and they're currently sat in a 14th position. It's not looking that great, but it's also not the end of the world. So I'm not specifically jumping in because the team sucks or anything. I'm just jumping in because I want to help Wayne Rooney. Him, him. So this is currently the starting 11 of Birmingham. It's an interesting one for sure. And when it comes down to the top performers of this team, currently Jay Stan Anfield is the one with four goals, which is the most. And Ivan Sunjic is the one with two assists alongside Miyoshi Andrame, who have the most assists in this team. But Lee Buchanan apparently is the best player on average score in this squad. So we are looking at a quite interesting team, obviously. But as I mentioned before, it's all about the free agents today, man. I want to find some insane ones. Let's see if we already have some in the first season. I don't think we do. Ideally, I want to keep it between 16 and let's say 23. That's the age range I'm going to be looking for. But we can already tell, yeah, there's not much that we can jump into here. We can't we can't see any of the play styles of these players. These are some actual real players that are free agents or have been put into free agents like Labrovic, for example, who is actually a goalkeeper in a Croatian league, which isn't involved in the game at the moment. I do believe we have the likes of Dinamo Zagreb in the game, though, but you can tell no one I want to really go after here. So we will have to go through the first season with no transfers and hope the team doesn't get relegated or anything like that and then go ham in the second season. Let's see how Birmingham do with no help of us. This is the lineup that I'm going to run for this season, but I just realized that this Hall guy is the biggest talent in this team, along with Ethan Laird, the former Manchester United player, in that right back position. So Hall, I'm going to give you playtime in here. You know what? At the end of the day, we shouldn't... Maybe we should keep one of the players of the original squad in the team, and he could be the one. The highest potential player in this squad. Why not? Zero play styles. You are in danger, though. If a free agent comes around that looks insane, I might drop him to the bench. Not selling, but I might drop him to the bench. So the first season is over, and I'm not necessarily shocked. Our team sucked. <laughs> Birmingham just about avoided promotion by uh, the relegation, I should say, by one spot. And as I'm about to go ahead and show you more of the stats, let me know if you guys play career mode or when you guys play career mode, do you buy free agents? Do you set any rules for the free agents that you're bringing in? Because as we all know, in the free agents, as we go into the second season, there's a bunch of insanely high rated ones and it can make career modes quite easy if you sign all of them. But let me know if you guys do actually sign some of them and ideally the ones where you don't actually know whose regens there are. Uh, they are. Let me know in the comments down below, please. I'm interested in your guys' opinions on it. But we are 21st, obviously. Not great. <laughs> Not great. At least all has gone up by plus four. But the entire team is in a very, very bad spot. So, yeah, we need to fix this in the upcoming season with a bunch of signings. I'm glad we didn't go down because that gives us the opportunity to bring in those free agents and take over the championship. Hogan, 20 and 2. Good season. Roberts, I turned him into a right mid. 12 and 4. Anderson, 7 and 3. Paul, 6 and 9. Not bad at all. Very happy with how things have turned out for the young lad right here, who I will probably make the captain at some point. But now, it is time to go into the second season and have fun with the free agents. So let's start this fun journey with a goalkeeper. This is the man that we're going to bring in because I looked through every single goalkeeper's stats. I looked at the ones with the play styles and realized this guy right here has a bunch of them. Ismail Acuna 
is the one coming into the Birmingham City squad. I need a goalkeeper, I need a centre-back, and I need a striker, in my opinion. The rest of the team is not too bad. So the goalkeeper comes in, 68 rated. All right, that's not too shabby. He can definitely grow. Left-footed, he is 6 foot 2. But watch this. He has the rushes out one. He has footwork and cross claimer. So three play styles, including one play style plus Acuna. You are my goalkeeper. Now, this one I was amazed with. Take a look at the center back. That's how he looks. His face is pretty, but also Angelo Conti from Italy is going to be our center back for years to come. Because if I show you his stats, you're going to be loving it. Acuna, you're not a center back. Conti, ooh, 75 rated. Can play center back, right wing back, and or right midfield, apparently. Not really. Right midfield is a minus 20. Think that's a bit of a mistake, ain't it? But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at his play styles. Bang. Jockey plus and dead ball. Yes, we have a center back that likes to take set pieces. So maybe we can score an amazing free kick with this guy at the end. That would be just a joy to see. Anticipate right there as well. And by the way, one thing I would love to do during this rebuild to kind of have some sort of progression in these playstyles would be as well that every single season that we go into the next year and start off a new season, I want to give ourselves one playstyle upgrade. So let's say Conti has a regular playstyle, which is the dead ball. I now get to upgrade that to a dead ball plus. But we can only do that with one player, okay? Just a bit of fun. You guys know I love players with amazing haircuts, and this is one of them. Our new striker. Yes, he's walking into the club right now. Let me show you his rating. Let me show you his play style. Another free agent, Usainu Ba, is his name. And the price rating, of course, is going to be an A. What's his actual rating? Okay, that's not too bad. 70-ish. I believe he might be 69. Yep, there he is. So he comes in with good pace, with okay shooting, dribbling, physicality. Not the best skill moves. Weak foot is a bit on the low side. He's 5 foot 11 though, 19 years old. And bang. He has acrobatic plus as a striker. I love that. So we could maybe score some crazy goals with that. And he has the incisive pass. A striker with the incisive pass on him. That is such a great combination because then you can go ahead and play some great blue balls if he's going to act like a target man type striker for us. So I love that. Ba, welcome to the team. Those are the three free agents that I'm going to sign this season. Every single season, by the way, we have a maximum of three free agents that we can bring in. And those transfers might have just been enough because Birmingham, instead of relegation, has fought for promotion and got it. 91 points. Yes. Get in there, lads. Well done. 90 points on Sheffield United. We don't care. They're going to go all up alongside us, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get relegated after this season. Guys, look at the stats. Bah, 75. He is looking good in his stats. Hall, 76. Let's go, buddy. As I said before, I'm going to make him the captain of the squad. And then we have a couple of players like Sanderson and Laird going up passively here. Which is very impressive. I mean, that's really good. Going to be hard to replace these guys with free agents. Conti on a 79. I like that. Acuna, 73. I mean, he came in with, what, 68? So 73 is not that bad. But in the Premier League, that could be an issue. But I'm not going to replace him. He's here forever. So as we go up into the Premier League, we will have to sign some really, really good free agents that can compete up there. I'm not going to go for 80 plus rated ones, though. I don't want to exaggerate too much, but play styles is all I want. So, Bath 25 and 2. Great season. Hall, let's go, buddy. 18 and 8. And then any of our other free agents, Conti, one goal, two assists. I mean, maybe he took some set pieces. And uh, Acuna has got nine clean sheets throughout the season. Good one. Now, in the Premier League, things will get a little bit of out of hand, in my opinion. It will be tough to survive. Look at that haircut. Yes, it is a free agent for the CDM position with an amazing haircut that's going to dominate our midfield for years to come. Why is her hand inside his body? Did you see that? Anyways, he is coming in now. It is Kalidou DRV. He comes in with the rating off. Come on, show me right here. It's going to be a 
74. Love that. Or maybe 73. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and take a look at his rating down here. He has Bruiser plus and the Dead Ball playstyle. Do I care about his other stats? No, I don't. So let's sign some more. Watch out for a new right midfielder with the man bun. Uh, I'm not vibing with that. It remembers me of the time when I used to have that weird long hair back when, you know, that sickness was going around the world. But he is going to be walking into our club right now with a rating of, come on now, Aiden Yilmaz from the free agents. Don't care about the price rating. We all know it's going to be an A. He comes in with a 72. That's fine with me. And let me show you something, my friends. Oh, no. I just leaked the next guy I want to sign. Alpha Ibrahim. He has three play styles. You see that stuff right there? It's insane, by the way. But let me go ahead and show you the man that is coming to the club right here in his play styles as well. He has Flair Plus and Rapid. What more do you want for a player that plays down the wings? I'm very excited about this one. And in walks the Alpha. Yes, I mean, could you have a better name? Alpha is here right now, and he has three playstyles. One of them being a playstyle plus. So let's walk him straight into that left midfield position. 72 rated. Comes in with quick step plus, pinged pass, and whipped pass as well. So a couple of great crosses could be coming in from this lad on the left-hand side. I wish it actually said Alpha there instead of Ibrahim. But anyways, he is now here and will be fine to use him moving forward. Let's go and let's upgrade one of the playstyles. And I've decided to go for Acuna. He has the cross claimer as a regular one. And the promotion was amazing. So I'm going to reward myself right here and give him the cross claimer plus. Yes, two playstyle pluses. On our goalkeeper no one should get past him right so here it is lads we are 14th after our first season right here in the premier league with birmingham city i don't think that's bad 40 points that's okay leeds united everton and millsborough are gonna go down and sheffield surprisingly actually survived ggs well done who has won the league title chelsea just above us by the way 13th hey looking like real life out here but <laughs> let's not take any more shots at that let me know do you think Poch is actually going to be staying at Chelsea do you think he survives at the club throughout the full season because I have my doubts unless they sign a big striker in January like Ozyman for example I don't see it happening but at the top we have Manchester City with Aston Villa and Newcastle below them well done lads congrats but let's take a look into our team the lads are looking solid. Ba, 82. Paul, the captain, 81 rated. On his picture, I just realized he does look a little bit high. Uh, Ibrahim on a 77 rating. Yilmaz on a 76. Laird is doing really well there. Conti, 83. Diaby, 78. Buchanan, 78. Acuna on the 78 as well with the two playstyle pluses. We love to see it. So... I had to let go of a couple of players within the starting 11 of our team in order to make sure that the youngsters like Ibrahim and also Yilmaz would be getting the playtime they're getting and also the same for Diaby. So we had to let go of a couple of the originals that you don't see in here anymore. But Bakunia somehow still surviving in here. So congratulations to him. I assume he's actually the one playing instead of Sunjic because he's higher rated. But let's take a look at how many goals Ba managed to score. 26. Well done, Ba. That is actually really good. Seven assists as well in his first Premier League season. That's amazing stuff. Paul, oh, 15 and 10. This youngster is the right one for this team to be the captain. And then we have Ibrahim and Yilmaz supporting a little bit. I am thinking, however, if I should just go ahead and push these guys up the pitch a little bit more because I feel like we're playing a little bit too defensive. So Hall is a left wing, same rating. Yilmaz is a right wing. Maybe not the same rating. Maybe a drop. Actually, I didn't pay attention. What was it as a right mid? Let's see. It's a plus six as a right mid. It's only a plus five as a right wing. Uh, we can deal with that. New season, new signings. My friends, I found an insane one. This guy might just have the most play styles we have found so far. It's a Danish center back with the name Gustav Dahl. He is going to be joining Birmingham in the Premier League right now. And he comes in with a 77 rating. And look at his stats, please. I beg, look at the playstyles. 
power header plus, long ball pass, whipped pass, block and relentless on top of it. This is an insane player joining us right now. I'm so excited about this one. The power header plus is going to be incredible on those corners. And the next signings are going to be players for the right back and left back position. As much as I like both these guys that we have in here who have done really well for us, I am looking to upgrade there. And then Bakunia next season is going to be the last one that we replace. So let's see who this right back is, shall we? The right back again, man bun. Yep, it's happening. He is walking into the club right now. And it is Gabriel Cardoso. And please, EA, please, I'm asking for it right now. Next year, can we have different sign-on scenes? Like multiple ones, at least like 10 of them. Just some difference in every single one. 78 rated. Let's go. This is a good one, but also with playstyles, of course. And this is eight plus and a rapid on top of it. Now, he is lower rated than Laird, which is a letdown, but that's how it is. I can't be finding 80 plus rated free agents all the time. So, yeah, this is the one that comes in. Hopefully, for the CDM position, we can actually find one next season. But Cardoso, big signing right now. Brazilian right back now the left back and there he is our left back with a regular human haircut nothing special this time around i don't know why i'm so obsessed about the haircuts but this guy is walking in right now miguel da silva he is coming in with the rating off come on then what is it 76 75 possibly but buchanan as i said before like buchanan what play styles does he have nothing really the new guy comes in with jockey plus pinged pass and slide tackle so definitely an improvement in that sense it's painful to drop these players but the whole reason why we're doing this video is to go ahead and bring in free agents so now the last spot is going to be fixed next season and that's going to be bakunia and now i'm thinking do, who do i give a playstyle plus to like do i go with yilmaz on rapid plus we could go whip pass plus i love that one on trent yep i'm gonna upgrade ibrahim to whip pass plus that's done. What would you say if I told you we're in a final? Well, this team has made it to the FA Cup final. I have no idea of our standing in the Premier League, but winning the FA Cup final, if I'm not mistaken, puts you into the Europa League. So, Liverpool coming up with a very mixed squad, including Modric and Ansu Fati and Theo Hernandez, David Carmo and Antonio. What? That, that team is so changed. What the hell? Alisson is the only one I can recognize, and Hakpo, Elliot, and Morton as well. Wow, I mean, that's a mad squad there. Let's go ahead and win this, shall we? Let's go. Kick off. Win it. Free Agents FC. Sorry, Birmingham. Can you win it? Come on. Yes, we do. It's Hall. It's the captain. It's the original. Get in there. Ibrahim helps him, or as we say, the alpha. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, stats of the players right here and see how things have gone. I am actually very interested. Actually, let's take a look into the Premier League league table. Where did we end up here? Ooh, 15. Wow. Okay, that is a big surprise to me. I did not see that coming at all. How are we 15th? We have a really good... I mean... Yeah, maybe the fullback's been a bit low rated and the center back and the goalkeeper. Yeah, it does make sense. But look at the attack. 87 right there. Ba is looking ridiculous right now. Hall is on an 85. Diaby and Bakunia. Next one is going to come into that position next season. And defensively, yeah, I get it. It's not really high rated. Maybe 15th is a little bit harsh. Maybe like 12th or 13th would have been fine. But uh, we will accept that because we have won the FA Cup. So let's get in there and see what we can achieve. And uh, 20 and 9 right here from Alpha. Great. He has dominated. Bar 16 and 4. A little bit of a disappointment in my opinion. Yilmaz has done well. And I completely forgot to change their positions. Oh, well. That's definitely on me. But next season, guys, we will have these guys a left wing and right wing. Probably get even more goal contributions. And that way hopefully finish in a much higher position and uh we need to find a cdm let's do it and that cdm my friends has been found just now it is a player that is from italy jacopo battaglia is walking straight into the club he comes in for the price rating of a of course but his actual rating 
is a 78. That is great. That's basically what I needed. Now, as you know, Bakunya already has a couple of play styles, but this man has a couple special ones. Press Proven Plus. I don't think anyone has that one yet. Long Ball Pass and Relentless on top. So he comes in with the same rating as Bakunya. Bakunya, hopefully you don't ruin his playtime. If you do, I'm going to kick you out of the club, just so you know. That's 15. No, not at all. We are first. Yes, Birmingham City is first in the Premier League. That's what we wanted to see. That's what we worked towards. Now that we have conquered the English divisions, now it is time to go ahead and challenge for the Champions League. Now, in the Europa League, which we took part in, obviously, we got kicked out in the quarterfinals against Club Rouge. Like, what? Really? If we're a Premier League winning team, we shouldn't be losing on penalties against them. But hey, that happened. But our team got first place. And that team, my friends, is looking like this. 90 rated bar. Ibrahim and Yilmaz on 84. They need to catch up for sure. Paul on an 89. The captain of this squad. Diaby 86. Bataglia 83. Lots of growth for him. Defensively looking much better. And then Acuna on an 85. If I'm honest... I didn't think that this team had it in it to go ahead and win the Premier League. I wouldn't be shocked if they don't win it next season. But to have won it already makes me feel very good. So, goal scorer. Ah, he's back. There we go. 35-3. and three, Amazing season. And then, as I said before, when we turn them into wingers, then we get more goal contributions. Yilmaz, 21-8. and eight, And then Ibrahim with 14-12. and 12, And Hall with 16 assists. He is the one conducting the play. And that's what I like to see. And you know what? As we go into the next season, I will not give anyone else a play style. I will give him a play style. All you have earned it. You worked your way from the lower division into a Premier League winning side. And now I'm going to give you a play style plus as we go into the next season. You are getting technical plus. Good news. We got past the likes of PSG to now play against AC Milan in, this, in the quarterfinals and we get past them. Who's our next opponent? Who's going to be the team that's going to play us in the semifinal? It's Liverpool. It's Liverpool. Oh boy. They have an odd team. We should be able to beat it. 2-1 and 3-1 in the end. Champions League final is Birmingham. Yes, after winning the Premier League title, this is what I wanted to see from the team. Congratulations, lads. Up against Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League final. I love that. That's kind of cool. All right. Bayer Leverkusen it is. That's going to be the opponent that we play against. Before we take a deeper look into their team and everything, let's just check what we have won. Premier League, oh, only 50. I told you, this team would drop down. I felt it. I knew it. Community Shield, we didn't get anything in there. We lost on penalties. FA Cup, didn't win that. Carabao Cup, didn't win that. Okay, so that's all it is. Our team, though, has done well in the Champions League, and that's what matters. It's about progression. Premier League title, Champions League title, and Bar is on a 92. Hall, 91. And by the way, I didn't give him the technical plus. I gave him the trickster plus because I just want to see what that does when you do skill moves. But uh, Yilmaz is on an 87. Ibrahim, 89. The, the, the CDMs are looking extremely solid and physical. The center backs are looking good. The right back and left back have grown a lot. And our goalkeeper is one of the best in the world. The bench, however, is terrible. I don't know how I didn't sign any players for the bench in terms of free agents. It would have been such an easy thing to do. But that's just typical me and we all know about it. So let's take a look into the team of Bayer Leverkusen. They have Elia Vahi, Lautaro Martinez... Aurier Grimaldo Frimpong. Dietz is playing as a center mid with Chaparenko there. Kunde and Paul Torres and Callum Doyle. And behind them, Diogo Costa. That is a fire lineup. I'm very excited about it. Lots of talented players who should be very high rated. And before we jump into it, actually, one last thing. As always, let's see the squad hub. Let's see the goals and assists. Ah, main man, 28 and 7. 24 and 9. And then we have Yilmaz with the 16 and 12. All a bit on the calmer side this time around, but maybe he's saving it all up for the Champions League final. Bayer Leverkusen stepping up in those darker kits, and we are going to be wearing our red. 
It basically is Bayer Leverkusen's home kit against their away kit at this point. But guys, I'm so excited to try out this team of playstyles everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Did you just see two playstyles? Three playstyles. All of them just popping up left, right, and center. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a mistake. I pressed. I swear my finger slipped. No. No. Yes, goalkeeper. Lovely, Acuna. Thank you. Oh, that's mine. Yilmaz picks up the ball and he's sprinting. Yilmaz is going. Oh, mate. What the hell? He's so fast. Oh, my God, bro. He's just running the entire length of the... Oh, my God. Okay. I should have given him the chip shot or something throughout the years. Wow. That is the worst chip shot ever. Yes. Good steal. Ah. Uh, over to the left. Paul. I'm looking for Alpha. There is Alpha now on the ball. Alpha. You need to find this man because he's an acrobat. Yes. Two play styles worked out perfectly right there. The man with the whipped pass to the one with the acrobat plus. That's the only reason I'm doing this rebuild. I swear to God. I know free agents are fun in that, but the play styles are so much fun this year, man. I love them. You can rely on them. Unlike anything else in the game, when your striker has 95 finishing, he still misses chances, you know. But with play styles, I am so confident that that whipped cross is going to be a good one. I know that he can go ahead and do the acrobatic finish. These things are just so nice to have in the game. I just hate that you can't use it properly in career mode unless you have a mod installed. Here's now Hall. Hall lifts the ball up. Oh, yes. Trickster plus. Yes, buddy. Beautiful finish. Take a look at that. Lobs it up. Hits it on the volley. 73 long shots, 59 shot power. How the hell? I mean, yeah, the shot isn't ideal. It really isn't great. The defender was blocking the vision of the goalkeeper, if anything, but we are 2-0 up. Lovely. We get that under control. DRB 1v1 takes him out. He's still on the ball. Oh my god, dude. Hall. Let's go. That wasn't DRB, obviously. It's Hall, the captain. I don't, I don't know how he went through there. It makes no sense that he got through in the end, but I think two defenders collided and that allowed him to actually score this goal. Let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, they're, they're colliding against each other. Hall is just making their defense fall apart, and I love it. Oh, wow. This guy's fast. It's Frimpong, of course. Frimpong, still. In the middle, they have men waiting for the pass, and... Oh, my. Bro, Lautaro Martinez just did with me what Florian Wirtz did at the weekend. If you guys haven't seen the goal, I beg you. Go ahead and check out the goal that Florian Wirt scored on the weekend. It was incredible. I am amazed that Germany has two world-class talents in Musiala and Wirt. I'm excited about the future of the country. But yeah, Florian Wirt's goal basically copied right here by Bayer Leverkusen once more. Cuts back in. Sees the pass into Hall. Hall gets past one. Gets past two. <laughs> Hall is the most broken player. His shooting and everything is terrible, but his movement and dribbling is just so much fun. And it's ending. Birmingham have won the Champions League with some of the best display of the playstyles I could put on. That's exactly what I wanted to do, man. Honestly, amazing Champions League final. Had so much fun with this one. And now Hall, the captain, the most impactful player of this Champions League final, gets to lift the trophy amongst all the free agents, the only original of Birmingham. Guys, it was a ton of fun again. And hopefully we can go ahead and have a just as fun rebuild coming up as the next one. Let me know which one you would like to see in the comments down below. And of course, go ahead and subscribe if you are new here. We are approaching 500,000. That would be much appreciated. Take care and peace.